What is up, Terrarians and Cargo Crate members? Welcome to another episode of Vanilla Summoner. And I am so excited for this episode. Obviously, in the last episode, we made, we made way too much progress. It was kind of insane how much progress we made. Uh, but for today's episode, I was wanting to spend most of my time in the jungle. Now, but before we do that, we really do need to get our Flink's fur coat because the reason that we need this so badly is we need a second summon. We cannot go into the jungle with this one summon ordeal. That's not, that's just not gonna happen today. So I really wanna spend a lot of time in there. I wanna get the snap thorn. I wanna get, um, is there other items we need actually from the jungle? Is it just the snap thorn? Ooh, the ivy whip would be fantastic. But after that, after we get the snap thorn, um, all we, I think we would need is more life crystals, more mana crystals. And then we could take on the Eater of Worlds. I don't know how effective our farming will go in the jungle. So I don't exactly know what we're going to be doing here in this episode. We might be taking on the Eater of Worlds. We might not. We might be just doing King Slime and calling it there. And then saving for the Eater of Worlds in the next episode. I do really like doing the uh, King Slime event um, because I love the Slime Mount. I have found that the Slime Mount helps me so much in boss fights like um empress of light there is no way that i could like dodge all the things that you need to dodge as a um as just like a regular like fall height or fall time i just really like the king slime mount because of the dodge ability you know what i mean so i'm gonna head into our snow biome to hopefully gather some life crystals and also to gather Obviously, the Flink's fur. Ooh, look at this. I didn't see this before. Oh, well, it's absolutely meaningless. <laughs> okay, never mind. But yeah, so I uh, I plan on kind of chilling out with the, the snow biome. Not really uh, focusing on doing a lot of stuff in here. I don't, I don't really want to talk through this since we spent so much time in the last episode in the snow biome. I think I'm going to chill out, you know, relax. It's, uh, it's very early for me to be recording today, which I love. It's back to the good old days. I've been up for three hours. I've been working on some uh, programming stuff. And I gotta say, waking up and getting into a programming problem that I don't know how to f solve, but just kind of having the leisure, like, we're gonna solve this today. And like, just kind of figuring out different avenues and like actually figuring out a solution. Oh, it's such an amazing start to the morning. It really is. I absolutely love it. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, <laughs> before I die down here, I'm going to go ahead and start farming about and do all that. So I will see you all in a little bit, hopefully, with some more flinks fur. <laughs> no way. Okay, I almost died and I had to get out of the snow biome. But <laughs> I, I looked at the dryad because I saw that she spawned in and I didn't know that she did. And we she can sell the dryad coverings because of Halloween. So let, let's give them a shot, yeah? Oh my god goodness oh this is not this is not okay maybe uh maybe i should get rid of my shield of cthulhu real quick oh man i'm looking jacked look at that Whew. I, I actually do need to start working out <laughs> i need to start working out in my real life because uh you, you a lot know i have my back problems Apparently, work, working out helps strengthen your muscles or something like that and helps with your back issues. I don't know how true that is, but we'll, we'll see. All right, back to farming. <laughs> Finally, a single flinks. <laughs> I've been here for so long. <laughs> why, are these, why are these guys so rare? Oh, my goodness. I thought I was going to go insane. I thought I was going to just be like, all right, well, I guess I'm not a summoner anymore. Switching a ranger. Could you imagine making a... Uh, a whole series switch like that? That'd be crazy. <laughs> um, let me see. Ah, oh, finally three. So I will definitely... Well, actually, we found out in yesterday's episode. I don't know if I... Sh Did I show it? We found out in yesterday's episode that they always... They don't always drop flanks. And they don't always drop... Uh, or they don't... They don't always drop fur. They don't always drop three fur either. It's like, I think it's from anywhere from one to three. But I already have two at home. So, I just need to get at least one from the next one that we kill, which is uh, is nice. I also found a couple of life crystals that were like pretty like in pretty obvious spots. I don't really know how I missed them the first time around. So, that's nice. I don't, I don't have to do as much farming as in the jungle as I thought I would have to. Uh, let me see. Anything else in here? 
Hey, another snowflake came down to us this time. Let's see how we do. Hey, and we got the two flinks fur. Amazing. Okay, that actually didn't take too long. It did take quite a bit, but we're still within the same Terraria day. So I guess, am I just being impatient? Yeah, probably. <laughs> All right, so we can grab our flinks fur. And I, don't we need platinum? Oh, and we need silk. Oh, shoot. Do we have enough cobweb for silk? Uh, let me see. Where is the silk thing? I should be able to see it. Am I just going crazy? Ingredients. Let's grab this, grab that, and let's head over here. Oh, I just wasn't in range. All right, my bad. Oh, I think that might be exactly what we need for the coat. And then now we should be able to make it. Silk rope. Don't. No, no, no. What am I missing now? Let's go ask our Steve. Oh, I love Steve. Steve the guide. What is that a reference to Minecraft? Or is that just because Steve is like a basic name? Do you guys know? I don't know. Okay, so you need 10 silk. 8 flinks fur. No, we have 7. I thought it was 6. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh my goodness. And we had a traveling merchant and I didn't know about it. Oh my. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we'll be back. But hey, we have 320 HP. We're 80 closer or 40 closer to 400. We're only 80 away. There we go. So I guess that's a plus. So we were farming in the snow biome. We, we got our flinks for we came back and it was nighttime and there was a meteor shower and we got like 25 or so fallen stars pretty quickly and we were actually at full mana now so we never had to worry about that ever again who knew that the five this changes from three fallen stars to five fallen stars was actually not that big a deal you know 1.4.1 you're still all right all right now let's go ahead and make our flinks fur coat yes Increases your max number of minions by one and their minion damage by five percent. Oh Lovely, so of course we miss out on the set bonus of 10% increased damage So this is actually gonna do a little bit less damage than if we were just using this bad boy However, one summon damage ain't gonna be compared to nothing now the fact that we can have two of these bad boys Woo! Now we can make our way over to the jungle. Oh, it's some ladybugs uh <laughs> I love the fact that, like, in, oh, oh, my minions are killing them. Oh, no, I didn't see that. I was going to say, I love the fact that, like, Chippy, in his videos, he calls them ladybirds. What is a ladybird? Other than the bird that is a lady. I, I just think that was so, when I first heard that, I had no idea that that's what they call it. Or that was even, like, a thing. And I, I it had me rolling. Ooh, that was a notification. Oh, what is happening? Sorry, y'all. I think I have uh, emails coming in. Look at that. It's part of being a web developer, am I right? One thing I wanted to do now that I'm over here by the corruption side of things, I forgot about this, but I actually do want to a uh, destroy a demon altar, not a demon altar, the the orbs, the shadow orbs. Man, I, I'm having the hardest time remember those the names of those things. But yeah, the reason why we want to destroy a demon orb or a shadow orb is because we want a the goblin army to be able to spawn in to get a gun so that the gunsmith is spawn in but also um we could have the potential of getting a light pet which would also be very helpful that's not the main priority that's like if i don't get it i'm not gonna break another one i'm really gonna go until i get a musket and i'm really hoping i get it pretty quickly because i hate breaking these things Hey, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. So now our gunsmith can spawn in. And we also have the ability to get a goblin's army. And uh, doesn't the meteorite only spawn in if you are uh, if you beat the Eater of Worlds now? It doesn't even spawn in unless you've, uh, you've done that. Or is it you still can't break it even though you've gotten it before? I don't know exactly how it works. But after the Eater of Worlds, we get to have the obsidian armor. Which is now a summoner set. Hey, look at that. Malik the arms dealer already in here. Perfect. What a gem. I uh, I love that Malik, or the, I mean the arms dealer, not not specifically Malik, um, sells the uh, the nurse's outfit. 
I just learned the lore today uh, from watching Chippy's videos. Oh my gosh, that was the first time doing that. Um, but I just learned the lore that it's well, obviously it was because the uh, the nurse and the arms dealer have something going on. But I didn't even think to consider that because the arms dealer is a businessman and doesn't uh, care how he earns his dollar, he's selling off the nurse's clothes for a, a, a buck. <laughs> I love that. Um, well, I don't love that he's doing that particularly, but I love like the little a tidbit of like lore that we get with that. I think uh, Halloween season is a special time in Terraria. I I don't think I've ever really truly appreciated it before. I think the last time I played Halloween in Terraria was a like a number of years ago, and I didn't really quite grasp everything that was going on. This is amazing. I love Halloween Terraria. I would like I can see why a lot of people come back to Terraria just for this experience. I really I really can. All right, well now we are in the jungle and I believe nope, dang it. I was hoping that was going to be our uh, our cavern here. But I'm looking for a natural cavern to get into the underground jungle and then we can either get the ivy whip and the the snap thorn. And I don't even know how to make either of those things like the exact recipe. I know we need vines. I know we need jungle spores and I know we need stingers so we're just gonna get a bunch of those and hopefully we can I think we'll I think we'll do pretty well down here I really do I think we'll be just fine I say that and then this is a dead man's chest and I get destroyed <laughs> wow two wild uh band of regenerations you guys see that is that not wild to anyone else <laughs> oh man sometimes I am just too funny for my own good all right, what are we doing down here? This is, oh man, I forgot about the jungle and the, ooh, look at that, a minecart already? Whoa, I was gonna say in the difficulties that it brings, but look at that, jungle ain't too bad. Oh, oh, oh shoot. It's just so dark down here. Is that a snatcher? Oh, why? So if you guys don't know, snatchers are wannabe man eaters. Ooh, I think I saw a heart crystal. And snatchers don't actually give you vines. Isn't that just so sad? Ooh, look at another just chest. Oh man, oh that is doing a, quite a bit of damage. Well, we got our first stinger now, very nice, and we got the flail, which is uh, absolutely useless to us. But I am very happy to have gotten a uh, mining potion. I love mining potions. The reason that I love mining potions is because mining speed is one of the most annoying things. On the planet <laughs> I hate it I hate waiting for it I hate like pre hard mode mining because it's so dang slow but I'm a mining potion makes all that better Wow and we've gotten a couple of life crystals already oh <gasps> wait have I not been picking them up oh my goodness I need to go back where where are they I don't oh and then now I've fallen and I can't get up <laughs> oh you guys ever seen that oh I've fallen and I can't get up it's not a very good meme, but it, it's a it's a classic. It's got to be mentioned, you know. Okay, now I have to make all my way back up here, back up to the minecart, and see where I think it was over here. Yeah, this is where the life crystal was. I think I saw it right there. Yeah. And was there another one? Hey, a little cargo cup of coffee. Look at that. We'll go ahead and take a sip. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but I didn't see. What does it actually do? Does it give you? Ooh, a goodie bag too. Ooh, what do I want to get rid of? Man, there's so many good things. Oh, look at that. Easy peasy. Get rid of that. No problem. Um, I didn't actually see what the... Oh, another one. Wow. What on earth? Uh, I guess I can get rid of the gills potion because I don't really care for that one. Okay, so what does it do? It uh, Medium improvement to all stats and increased life regen. Hello, darkness, my old friend. You guys listen to Simon and Garfunkel? That is a jam. It's also a meme. Definitely how I found it. Can't say that I knew of Simon and Guy Garfunkel beforehand. But they're definitely a banging group. It's just two guys. It's Simon and Garfunkel. Oh, no. Alright, so we got a blood moon arising. Which is uh, unfortunate for everybody playing. Uh, <laughs> we've gotten a ton of vines. We have nine vines. And uh, 15 stingers. And now 16 singers. I think the only thing we're really missing are jungle spores. 
So I want to do my best to get some jungle spores. But we've got... I don't think we'll need more than nine vines. Ooh, and I see our last life crystal. Okay, so let's, let's go snag it. We'll head over in that direction. I do see this living tree here, so I'm going to make a note of it. Oh, wait, and there's another one right there. Oh, my goodness. We can actually get a life lantern. Life crystal lantern, heart lantern. There we go. Final answer, heart lantern. So, uh, you guys know, I've been, uh, I'm a barista, and I kind of talked a, bit, a little bit about it in the last video. Oh, that's a piranha. Don't kill me. Ooh. Um, that, uh, you know, just a little bit of story. People share a lot of things to their baristas, I guess. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I personally would do that. But, you know, to each their own. I'm not shaming it nobody. And, I, and like I said, I love it. But uh, one of the things that's a little bit on the more frustrating side of things is the... Uh, so the stand that I work with, or work at, they have a very unfortunate parking lot. You know, it's not a very well-made parking lot. And the issue that I have with it is, like, people can turn right into this parking lot, but they... They really shouldn't be able to. It really messes up the traffic, the flow of traffic. And so what has happened, and we've tried to defend against this. We have cones out there. We got a, uh, a sign that says no right turns. People blow past it. I'm like, all right, this, this has got to stop. There's no way I'm going to let this happen. So what do I do? We get some new cones. We like block it off. We grab chains, make sure that nobody can get through the cones. We, we're like, okay, literally, it's impossible to make this right-hand turn legally. So, nobody nobody should do it anymore. Nah, what do people do? They make the right turn illegally. They go into oncoming traffic, swing out, and then turn right. I'm like, D oh, hey, why don't you just like go in the back of the line where people are waiting to make their left-hand turn, and why are you cutting everybody? Like, why does that make sense? Have, did you never like line up in like kindergarten? And like wait for everyone like a good little like person <laughs> like come on what's going on here why, why is that so hard <laughs> I don't know it's, it's frustrating for everyone because the people in line are like what the heck is happening why did why did that person just get to cut and like now they're in line it's not like we can't serve them it's like they're like well I'm in line now so like are you not gonna give me my coffee and it's like I there was a story okay that brings me to another story <laughs> there was a story where we did do that where someone got Someone cut in line, and it was, like, a super busy Saturday morning. And, like, it was, like, the longest line, like, out to the street. And we had a bunch of people left up, like, lined up to the left. And this guy just swoops in in the perfect moment, like, no consequences, swoops in and cuts everyone in line. And, like, there's people in the line that are yelling at him, which is never the answer. You Yelling at people hardly ever i can't say never but hardly ever will give you the answer that you want <laughs> but that being said people were yelling and everyone was like you can't do that and i mean he has his car up he's probably listening to, he's probably jamming out to tunes can't hear nobody doesn't even know anyone else exists and uh we, he's like we're like hey sir like just so you know like we cut like you cut in line so like like, just please don't do that again. And he was like, what? You're not going to, like, serve me my coffee because I cut? And then, like, obviously, if you offend us and talk down to us like that, like, it's not going to go over well. Like, we have the ability to refuse service to anyone. And so we were like, actually, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. Thank you for the uh, the tip. Yeah, we're not going to serve you because you cut people online and also you were mean to us. So <laughs> he was so angry that he called, like, our... Uh, our head like warehouse and was like i can't believe this is happening and like obviously the warehouse was like of course like that should never happen and like like we're sorry that that happened but to another degree they kind of told him like well did you follow the rules and he was like no and they're like well there's your answer why did you not follow the rules like well i wanted to like get my coffee first and it was like you, you do you see what's happening here i don't know people get people get upset about their coffee necessities understandable i love coffee i don't know anyone who doesn't love coffee so i i get it to a degree but to to offend someone else for it nah not my style okay let's head home get back and oh it's a blood moon that's right uh shoot i did not want to deal with this right now let's go ahead and see if we can fix this situation let's replace these i, I want to make these all gold chests that's why i've been grabbing them um let's grab our that Let's do this. 
Let's see what we can make. So we've got stingers and everything. Hey, the snap thorns. So what do we need? Three vines and three jungle spores, and that's it? What? And we can make the ivy whip, which is 12 jungle spores and three vines. Well, we definitely over farmed. Well, that's incredible. You'll love to see it. We have our snap thorn. We have our flink's fur coat, and we have our flink's staff. We are doing extremely well. I'm very happy with the process that we, or the progress that we've been making. So let me put away some of these things real quick. Uh, these are going to be like my armor and weapons chests up here. I think I'm going to do that actually right now. Because um, I really don't want to deal with this blood moon. But uh, you can't sleep through it. So I think I'm just going to hide away, you know. <laughs> oh, but they can open doors. Oh, no. I didn't even think about this. Hey, Jim. Oh, this is massive. Oh, this is huge. Jim, you, you made this absolutely thick boy. Okay, this is going to go over here. It's going to totally block out our window, but look at that. Guys, if you don't know Jim, he's uh, Jax Rudd. He's an a artist for Terraria, obviously. But really, uh, he personally supports the channel. Really appreciate him. Awesome, dude. Back to the Terraria. We got the coffee. We're trying to like put everything away. We already got our arms dealer, so we could put all this away. Weapons, all that kind of goodness. Make sure, like, we're not, like, putting away anything that we're not supposed to. Accessories, we can kind of, let me see. We'll grab that and that, and everything else is an accessory, so that's great. And is there anything else here? We'll probably put the hook in the accessories. Does that make sense to do that? I don't, I don't really know. Um, otherwise, weapons. Do I want to keep the flare gun? You know what? We'll keep the flare gun. Yeah, that's fine. We'll we'll switch it out. It it is useful. I just don't like carrying it most of the time. But what the heck? We'll we'll give it a use. We'll give it a whirl, you know? Alright, anything else? I think that's it, right? We're pretty oh potions. We're pretty well established now. I, I'm feeling pretty confident about everything. Like are you guys feeling confident for us? Cause I think you should. A gold worm? Wow, that is going right in to my pocket. <laughs> 10 gold, yes please. I'm just so confused as to why I'm not getting pylons to spawn in, you know? Like, I feel like they should be happy. Let's, uh, let's talk to over here. Did someone die? Wow, this snapthorn is amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love the snapthorn. Isn't it longer? Now, didn't they increase the range of it? And the only whip that they didn't increase the range of was the um, the leather whip. I'm pretty sure that's how it is. Oh, and the snapthorn has such good AOE. Oh, it's beautiful. Is anyone happy here? No, it doesn't look like anyone. Not a single lad is happy. What about you, Lizzie? You happy? Nope. Okay, my bad. Maybe it's because it's during a blood moon? That could very well be possible. I've got no clue. I'm going to go ahead and skip this, though. Oh, wait. Blood Moon's over. Well, I don't really want to do this while it's raining. Well, I guess now that the Blood Moon's over, do we want to go fight King Slime? And then end the episode there? I feel like this is going to be a pretty uh, quick episode. I don't know exactly how long I've been talking. I have no frame of reference or frame, uh, frame of time. I've got no clue. So let's go ahead and do this. What do we need? We need to make a plat crown. Perfect. And then we already have all the gel we need. Do we have a demon altar that's close by? I thought we saw one, but I don't exactly remember where we saw it. So unless I see it, yeah, I don't really see one actually. So I'm going to go ahead and head over, which is the closest, this crimps, this corruption biome is closer. We'll go ahead down here and try to gather our, our king slime mount. Because you need a, domi a demon altar, a domin altar. Oh, dang, oh man, you need a domin altar. One king slime mount, good to go. And we'll just spawn it in right away. I don't think we'll really need anything, yeah? Let's do it. Where'd he go? I think he, I heard him to the right. Yeah, I did. All right, smack him, boys. Yeah, this is going... This We are way over-prepared for this. <laughs> this is beautiful. We are doing so much damage. Oh, my goodness. What did I just kill? Oh, it was a goldfish. 
Oh, I love it. Oh, Eater of Worlds, you're done for, okay? We're not we're gonna save it for next episode. But I am I am so excited for it. I cannot wait for the next episode. I kinda wanna do it now, but I need a I need a better I need to better spread this out. I don't want to do too much in one episode, you know? And then also I wanted to say uh, I know a lot of you are missing the Bard playthrough. Don't worry. We'll go back to Bard. Oh, I'm actually taking a lot of damage. Okay, my woohoo. Can y'all chill for a second? Dang. Alright, there we go. We'll heal up and we'll just go this way. Stop minding the slimes. We're all good. But yeah, we'll probably do a Bard episode tomorrow. Um, that's that's the issue with doing two playthroughs at once. Is like you want a good balance of both. I'm personally more excited for a hey, and we get the slimy saddle first try. Oh my gosh! But yeah, I was gonna say I'm personally excited for the this playthrough. I'm more excited about this playthrough because I do love Summoner so much, and not that we've been like struggling with Bard, but we've been struggling with Bard. You know what I mean? Like we're not having the best of times. I have to sneeze so bad. Nailed it. I even muted my mic and everything. That's called quality. We don't really need the solidifier for anything, right? And I never use the angry royal gel or the royal gel in general. I will keep it though since we don't have another one. Otherwise, this is going in the bin so quickly. You know what I mean? Alright, get you out of here. Sell all that. All that goodness. And we're done. Look at that. Oh, and one more goodie bag and more rotten eggs. Perfect. <laughs> All right, well, well, that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I so appreciate you all. I hope you're enjoying the series as much as I am. I am absolutely loving the summoner changes to 1.4.1. They, I think they're really incredible, and I feel like the class is really coming together really nicely. So with that, thank you guys so much. Stay awesome, stay beautiful, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.